the Children's Liturgy of the Word. Hope everybody had a great week and we're so glad you joined us. As always, let's begin with prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us together today. Jesus, help us to cling to you like a branch clings to a vine. We love you and we want your help in following you. We ask all of this through Christ Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us. Like you heard, we're going to hear a lot today about vines and branches and things. But first, let's listen to Sharice sing today's responsorial song, all about praising God. Welcome back. Now we're going to hear Will with today's message, but come on back after that because we're in the kitchen again and we've got a treat. See you in a minute. We're the branches. If you remain in me, you'll have much fruit. But apart from me, you can do nothing. Now, do you like to eat fruit? I love bananas and green apples. What do you need to grow a healthy fruit tree? Water sunlight, strong, healthy branches. Now, vine. A vine is a plant with a lot of branches growing out of it. You can think of it as a tree trunk. Now, I don't have any great fucking to buy a backyard, okay? But I got a tree, and for the purpose of this reflection, it's close enough. Now, through its roots, it gets nutrients from the soil. The branches have the fruit on them. But what happens if a branch breaks off the vine or trunk? It withers up and can never have fruit on it again. Now, let's play, let's have a fun little quiz that's not being great. In today's Bible story, who is the vine? Jesus, who's the branches? Us, who's the gardener? God. And what's the fruit? The good things that we do to honor God. Now, first of all, I wish we had a high production value so we can have Jeopardy music. But 
What are the good things that we can do to honor God? Faithfulness. Kindness. Joy. Love. And generosity. Just like the branches have to stay connected to the vine for good fruit, you and I have to stay connected to Jesus to produce good fruit and to honor God. Jesus helps us to grow when we stay connected to him. Thank you all for listening. I'll see you all next week. Hi, welcome back. Like I said, we're back in the kitchen and we heard Will talking about the vine and the branches which is why I have a plant out here, okay? And we heard that Jesus was probably talking about a grapevine. So, we can use grapes when you become 21 to make wine, but I don't think you're 21, so we'll just put that away for now. A product that you find more with grapes that's more appropriate is raisins. Okay, raisins are dried grapes, and we're gonna make something with raisins. We're gonna make trail mix. It's very easy to make, except for one ingredient, you really, there's nothing that you can't do yourself. Okay, and we're going to make this and I'm going to explain. But first, what do we need for it? Cereal. Any kind of cereal, you can see what I'm using, but any kind of cereal. Mini pretzels. These are sunflower seeds. We have nuts. Obviously, if you can't eat nuts, if you're making it for your family or your friends and one of them can't have nuts, we leave the nuts out. I have chocolate chips. Here I have miniature chocolate chips, but whatever chocolate chips you like. Or you can also use M&Ms, by the way. Raisins, as discussed, raisins. These are dried apricots. Okay, now when you buy dried apricots, they're like this big. You probably want to have an adult help you if you want to use them by cutting them into quarters. If you want to use them and if you have an adult handy to help you. Okay, otherwise you can leave them out, but we're going to use them. So what is all of this besides the fact it has raisins and raisins come from a grapevine? Okay, how is this fitting in with what we're doing here? What does this tell us about Jesus? Well, we're going to find out while we make this. We're going to start with our cereal. Just like scripture and the sacraments are a good base for our faith, cereal is a very good base for our trail mix. So we'll put that into a large bowl. Next, we'll use pretzels. Pretzels. Pretzels, and I'll tell you the truth, I've read this in a lot of places, so I believe it's true. I'm having a hard time seeing it, but when pretzels were originally made, they're supposed to look like folded hands at prayer. So I guess that it's like if you put your hands like this when you pray, maybe it looks like a pretzel. I don't see it, but we'll think of pretzels as folded hands at prayer, and we'll dump them into our large bowl. Next, we'll have seeds. These are sunflower seeds, which are delicious. And we can think of sunflower seeds as a kind of, it shows us God's faithfulness. Because when you plant a seed, you have, to, you have to have faith that it will grow into a plant, okay? And so that's a sign of God's faithfulness as a seed. Next, our nuts. And our nuts represent kindness. They represent kindness because a lot of people can't eat nuts. If they can't, it's kindness not to include them. It's kindness not to even have them. If though, some people love nuts would be Mrs. Muldoon. Okay, if you know somebody loves nuts, it's kindness to include them. Next we have our mini chocolate chips. And our chocolate chips represent joy. Okay, chocolate brings people happiness, right? Okay, so our chocolate chips or M&Ms if you have them, that represents joy. Next, we have our raisins and our dried apricots. And they represent love. And why do they represent love, you might ask? They represent love because they teach us. They are the fruit of the vine. And they teach us to stay close to Jesus, the true vine and the source of all love. 
Sandy soft, dumped all these ingredients into the bowl. And now we simply take a large spoon. This is just like a uh, serving spoon that I have. Any kind of a large spoon. Just take that. Mix it all together. You want everything so that you don't get a bite of just cereal or bite of just nuts. Mix it all together well. And when you're done, you've got a delicious bowl of trail mix and you can do one other thing that Will talked about today. You can show generosity by sharing this with your friends and family. Hope you enjoy making our trail mix. Have a great week and we'll see you next week. Bye. All right.